I, I pick the best days for observing. Uh, starting uh, tomorrow. So uh, we have great timing. <laughs> I mean, we, un we understand that you know, law enforcement has a difficult job to do, and this is a, um, you know, a complicated situation. You know, so we don't want to interfere. Uh, we want to minimize uh, the level to which we possibly complicate this uh, uh, situation as much as possible. Uh, so there are fewer people who are going to the summit. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing a, observing remotely. Uh, this is basically uh, largely due to safety and also, again, just not to complicate uh, law enforcement's uh, um, enforcing abilities. The telescope I'm observing at with uh, Subaru, uh, the standard is typically to go up to the summit. Yeah. You know, and there's less oxygen and, uh, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit rough uh, on the body. But uh, I also think you lose a little bit of the experience if you don't go up, physically go up there. Yeah. What's the feeling right now? Can you explain that to us? Well, I, I think we're just waiting to see what happens with uh, with law enforcement. I mean, we know last time uh, the situation was uh, was fairly chaotic. Uh, it was a little bit unclear exactly what was going on uh, from uh, from everybody's standpoint. You know, one day uh, we had people blocking the road and asking us whether or not uh, we were affiliated with uh, with TMT or not. Uh, the next day, uh, or an another time, uh, you had some, some workers, you know, again, who were just trying to do their jobs, come down from the mountain or wanting to come down, and there are boulders in the road, there are rocks in the road. You know, so that, that makes a lot of people feel a little bit on edge, but I think, you know, the law enforcement is a little bit, uh, well, substantially more organized this time. And, you know, people just wanted to take uh, the situation one day at a time and, you know, want to, you know, uh, on one hand, just allow people to do their jobs, to have access, you know, but also we understand too that we should respect the rights of uh, people to uh, to protest, uh, to have assembly, to do that peacefully, and I, I do see some signs of, of that happening, uh, at least so far, uh, with you know with the mayor, uh, you know, visiting uh, Puhulu Hulu, and just some some of the the sense uh, from our government officials about understanding clearly that. So long as nobody tries to obstruct uh, traffic, so long as nobody tries to get in the way of, uh, of uh, you know, people just trying to do their jobs, I think everything is okay yeah. that way. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. To be very clear, I mean, I used to oppose TMT long ago. I used, I used to oppose it, and this was predicated on, um, at least my understanding at the time, uh, you know, that this would be a 14th telescope on a site that already had 13, and, you know, my experience was focused mostly, mostly on the telescopes at the summit, and you know, I understood that, that there are people who, who value uh, the Mauna uh, for, for reasons that don't have anything to do with uh, modern astronomy, and that's, uh, you know, that's important. But you know, I changed my mind in large part due to uh, just understanding better, better the details of the project, you know, yeah. where it was sited, zero waste facility, all those things. You know, just my, my sense of the, the situation is that I mean, what more really needs to be said about the project? Right. We've had two contested case hearings, we have 44 days for the last one. I mean, every possible issue that you could think of raising has been raised. You know, I think the community, um, you know, less the activists, but I think the community in large is just is just tired. They're like, look, let's let's move on. Let's have the telescope. That's why it's supported uh, by like three fourths of the community. But you know, I think it's also important to note that or to, to focus that. Um, you know, after this is built, and it may may get ugly for a little while. Uh, I really hope it doesn't. I really hope that law enforcement is just able to ensure access, and we're done with it. But regardless of whether that happens or whether it gets a little bit ugly, you know, this is the community's telescope, even for people who oppose it now. You know, and once the construction gets in their way, their input. Uh, their advice, their expertise uh, should still be valued and I really hope that the project uh, uh, continues to do that. Our feeling is that we don't want to complicate uh, uh, law enforcement's job any more than we need to. I know some people feel compelled to go to uh, Mauna, Kea, Mauna Kea as well to, you know, to counter protest or show our support. We're not going to do that. You know, that, that, that we don't want to make things more complicated. We're going to be here in the city uh, and so we're going to show our support there. So we have a sign waving uh, tomorrow, and you know I think it's just important for you know for people who believe that the project uh, is the right thing to do, and support it, or even just we're maybe neutral or maybe in a little bit opposed, but believe in the process, mm -hmm. that the process uh, was right, and that even if I don't exactly agree on the on the outcome, I have to respect the process. 
yeah, for those people to, uh, to make their voices heard. Yeah, I think that's really important.